starting right now tonight, what would you do? <laughs> okay, what do, you do in your, what do you do in your spare time? When you don't have to be to work, when you don't have to clean your room, when you don't have to do the stinking dishes or the laundry, when you really can do what you want to do, what, do you, what would you do? Read. Read. <laughs> okay. Or, I don't know, family. Family, what's that mean? Be with your family. But then again, I, I do it because my nieces and nephews and right. my nanny. So right. That's why I like my job. Good. That's why you do like your job. If you have something you love to do and it completely fulfills you and you were given the opportunity to not worry about anything but you could just simply do what you wanted to do, what could you not do? You could do absolutely everything. That's what makes God the ultimate happy being. Well, it would be happy, but you still have to look forward to something. You can. You're doing one thing, and you can still anticipate. While I'm reading this book, while I'm reading this book, I am looking very forward to making my next video. Oh, yeah, baby. That's fun for me. While I'm driving my car, enjoying so the that's scenery. That's what you would do for thousands of years. Huh? Or for thousands of years, whatever. That's what you would do. Are you saying on the same level though, Tim? Because with me, once I get to a certain level, I don't like to push away. I like to do the next it's challenge. Yeah. There's always the next challenge. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. Keep going. Right. I might be okay with. So hopefully, it's up. To that's me. why it's an ever eternal learning. Thing. There is no boredom in eternity. It's wide open, man. The boredom is in this life. Well, Don't you, use this life as the... You were, you were saying live a thousand years in this life, though, right? Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. I would love to. <laughs> you're in trouble then. What are you going to do when you're resurrected and you come back to earth in its celestial glorified state? You're going to sit around being bored? <laughs> you got eternity to look forward to. What's the point of the gospel in eternity if you don't want it? I don't know. I think you think ultimate <laughs> happiness will be death no. or the resurrection? The resurrection. Why? You're going to be living forever after then. That's okay. Why isn't it to live okay on the earth for a thousand years then? It, it would How is it to the same? If that's what, if everybody you're else is watching a bunch of people die. Because you're still <laughs> able to get sick. You're still yeah. able to break your leg. <laughs> then what's the point of Christ healing? Well, are you saying just me living a thousand years on the earth or everyone living a thousand years on the earth instead of the regular 75? Because if it was just me, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. No, I meant as a general rule. What if we all had a thousand years oh, to live? Okay. That's just how it was. Sorry, I didn't understand where you were going. You were stumping me there for a minute. I was saying, holy cow, you're rejecting the oh, ultimate plan? <laughs> the point is... I do it alone, too. We, we don't want to die. Otherwise, why are we upset at the funerals? There's nothing worse than having someone struck down in their youth. An 18-year-old friend of mine was killed a while ago, and you go... That sucks. But is it any different if my 18-year-old friend would live to be 85 and then died? I think it's more that you're sad they're gone, yeah. but you... I don't know. That's where sadness disappears. Because in the ultimate long run, no one ever goes away anyway. You right. will be together that's, forever. That's the difference between here and... Oh, sure, of course. But I'm trying to get the theme across to you that eternity is seriously exciting and worth looking forward right, to. Right, which would be great. That's why I'm looking forward to the next All right, day. all right. Not a thousand years on this life. The BYU students weren't. They, they said they were not interested in it, which is completely mind-boggling. Isn't that the whole point of purpose of... They said, no, we'd rather die at age 75. Yeah, that's quite the older I get, the less tolerant I am. Huh? The older I get, the less tolerant I am. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, 
So if we lived a thousand years, then we'd be completely intolerant of each other. Yeah, I really don't think it does. Or you could just say somebody for a really long time. Or, or actually, actually, that's not true because if you got sick of someone, you could disappear for a hundred years and then get back together. You can't do that now. <laughs> it's just a wider perspective. It, it's a different perspective because we are so used to our mortality. Well, didn't they live for like thousands of years back in Abraham? Yeah, the yeah. air was cleaner. Methuselah lived almost a thousand years. At least that's what the record says. <laughs> Yeah, but if you live in your health, I mean, living a thousand years would be, really be miserable if after a hundred years old you went blind. That wouldn't be any good. Maybe the earth was spinning faster back then. <laughs> or slower. Or maybe their years were different. Possibly. You know, maybe their years only lasted. I've heard a theory that the earth used to be in a whole different orbit, and so time, time was different. So, who knows? Anyway. The hope is that the gospel is true. And it is true, so there is hope. That's why it's good to be a Latter-day Saint. Because we have the ultimate hope. We, the, the fascinating thing about being LDS is we take so much literal that the rest of the world has simply said, <laughs> it's, not, it's an allegory, it's not real, you know. We really, we really don't believe that. We're, it's so odd to see how lost, I'll, I'll say lost, that's not quite the right word, but just lost the rest of the world is. Just pay attention tomorrow and see how many people you can see who are absolutely, positively miserable. Maybe they're not lost, they're misled. Or misled, yeah. But what... Misery is just simply a short-sighted lack of faith in Christ because he's given it all to us. The gospel is one long shout of hallelujah. Let your hair down and live a little, man. It's real. That's the difference between Mormonism and Christianity. Is we say, this stuff is real. The atonement really will resurrect us. There are people now who are proclaiming the resurrection is an allegory. They're saying, no, that's, that's not exactly what's going to happen at all. You die, and you go back to heaven as a spirit, and you play the harps and sing. How do you sing as a spirit if it's an immaterial being, you know? Why would, why would, sorry. How do they uh, gather um, electro, you know, voice phenomena? Yeah, these? exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You can't sing if you're an immaterial spirit. It's such a morass of contradictions, it's astonishing in some respects. We take it physical, literal. It's, like Joseph Smith thought, he said, it's all material. Spirit is material. It's just finer stuff. We just can't see it with our physical eyes. And the beautiful analogy is, for us, the world mocks that. And says, oh, Mormons are idiots. It's not finer material. Yes, it is. Atoms are finer material, and you can't see them. You can with some special electronic instruments nowadays, but you can't normally, as a general, regular, everyday course of existence, you don't go around seeing atoms, even though there's quadrillions of them around you. They are finer stuff. It's the same principle Joseph Smith taught with spirit. It's all material. It's just more refined, but it is real. Heaven to the Christian world isn't real. Yeah, you know what's more real to the Christians than heaven? Where they're, where they're sending us. Hell. <laughs> Boy, that's the place they believe really exists. Isn't that odd? It's so backwards. It's so depressing, you know. Why would you want to be a member of a church that has no hope? I agree. I agree. Absolutely. That's why it is the gospel, the good news. It's real. So that's my testimony. I'm going to say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do we have a closing prayer normally? Or do you guys just go? We have a closing prayer. Now that there's three of us left.